What's up guys, CT Kidney here, and today we're going to be going over the talent setups that I've chosen for AoE, Mythic Plus, Single Target, all that. Uh, we're going to be going over the rotation for AoE, Single Target, whatever, whatever, and also going over the 2 and 4 set uh, and how it's going to impact our rotation going into 10.1. So 10.1 is a little bit away. It's in about 2-3 days from the day of me recording this video, so I wanted to put this out and make sure everybody gets what they need to know before the patch actually drops in case you were wondering so first uh the first half of the tree for single target at least pretty much unchanged um the one point you could change is honed aggression to eternity span if there's any ads or any cleave during the fight eye of infinity is a new talent that we got that's going to increase eternity surge damage by 15 percent on the primary target and yes that does include the eternity surges we get from proccing scintillation you could go with event horizon if you're not entirely comfortable with the dragon rage extensions but i've been playing it for so long now on the ptr i've pretty much gotten used to it so uh next up catalyzed tyranny shattering star got a small nerf uh, it's went from 15 to 20 seconds on the cooldown. Uh, Burnout is now only one talent point. Spellweaver's Dominance is, of course, still what we're going to be taking. We're actually not going to take Focusing Iris anymore. We're going to take Arcane Vigor, which is not going to make a uh, Shattering Star 6 seconds. But what it does do is it gives us an Essence Burst guaranteed when we use Shattering Star. Really smooths out the rotation. It's super fun to play with. Titanic Wrath, Hoarded Power. Power Swell, I kind of wish we could skip Power Swell and go directly down to Iridescence from Arcane Vigor, because Power Swell is not that great, but eh, I mean, what can you do? Not every talent can be the best thing in the game. Our redesigned Causality, Scintillation, and then Iridescence. And that's going to be our single target go-to, like, cookie-cutter build. Like I said, if there's more than one target, you'll want to switch Honed Aggression to Eternity Span, or if you're not comfortable with the dragon rage extensions and you feel like you need a little bit more leeway you can take event horizon instead of eye of infinity all right next up is aoe so as i'm changing to aoe you'll probably notice i didn't take firestorm uh, and the reason for me not taking firestorm is because i actually ran the sims and firestorm if you had every mob standing in firestorm it would still be weaker than this next than this path right here <laughs> And I, I, I don't know what to say about it, man. I mean, like Firestorm, it's just got to be changed. It's got to be buffed. Um, the issues with Firestorm are, I'll go over them very quickly. The pathing is not good. You have to go Volatility, which is AoE talent, into Single Target talent, into AoE talent. Uh, when you could, they could literally just make it like that and go from Volatility to, to Firestorm. And then they could also make another one going from Raging Inferno to Feed the Flames. But even then, it still wouldn't be as good as uh, <laughs> as just going to this side of the tree. Um, because it's just not practical. Firestorm is way too small. It doesn't do a lot of damage. And it lasts so long that mobs will just walk out of it. It's, it's not practical in a Mythic Plus environment. Anyway, with that small rant out of the way, let's get into what I actually take. So again, normal stuff, uh, pretty much across the board. Uh, we are going to be taking Catalyze for, this is for Mythic Plus, by the way. Um, so this is the Mythic Plus build that I'm running. So we're gonna be taking Catalyze for some single target damage. Uh, I typically switch Eye of Infinity and Event Horizon based on Fortified and Tyrannical. If it's Tyrannical, I take Eye. If it is Fortified, I take Event Horizon. Um, you could also just decide to, if you wanted like a tyrannical, like a good tyrannical setup, you could drop Iridescence and Power as well for Hoarded Power and Scintillation. And um, if you do that, you'd also want to take one point into Eye of Infinity. And this would be like a, this would be like a tyrannical setup. This would be a really good tyrannical setup right here. This is what I do for tyrannical. And then this is, and uh, what I do right here is take Event Horizon and then take Power Swell and Iridescence for Fortified. And that's going to be pretty much your talents. I mean, as far as Mythic Plus goes, 
this is more or less what you're going to want to be running. Um, and as far as raid goes or single target at the very least, this is what you're going to want to be running as well. So, um, pretty it's a pretty good talent setup i gotta i gotta say i'm really enjoying the way that this is playing and the feedback that blizzard or that we gave blizzard has been paying off i'm super excited to see all of that so without further ado i'm actually going to get into showing you how to actually play this so you'll see here that i've taken carnalex off my bar as i kind of wanted to simulate what it was like to play without carnalex because we aren't going to be having it going further into the patch so this is going to be a single target setup right here, okay? And how this is going to go is you're pretty much just going to keep your empowered abilities on cooldown. You want to cast them about four to five seconds apart to get maximum benefit from our four set if you have it. If you don't have the four set, don't worry about casting them further apart. Uh, it won't matter that much. And then using Shattering Star on cooldown and using a Disintegrate uh whenever you can get an iridescence proc so no longer are we saving essence burst procs for shattering star we are now saving essence burst procs for eternity surge or for iridescence as it were so it's going to look something like this this is going to be your base rotation okay so you'd be opening up with like fire breath and then going into shatter star eternity surge and then disintegrate disintegrate and you want to make sure you're not capping on essence as well, because if you're capping on essence, you're just losing uh, cooldown reduction. And you're going to be using your burnout procs. And now you can see that I have my um, I have my shattering star up. Go ahead and use that. And then I have eternity or I have eternity, eternity surge and then disintegrate, disintegrate. And I want to make sure to keep my four set dot up. If you don't have the four set, don't worry about this. It's not, it's not going to, uh, it's not going to matter because you want to have the four set. All right, go ahead and use an essence burst real quick. Make sure to get my empowered abilities off cooldown. Shattering star into eternity surge, and disintegrate, disintegrate, and that's pretty much how your single target rotation is going to go when you're not in dragon rage. So. It's very, very, very useful to know that you can get a really big disintegrate if you go with your Shatter Star Eternity Surge uh, and disintegrate window. So you, that's probably the biggest disintegrate you're going to be able to get. And since disintegrate is most of our damage, where is it? Here it is. Since disintegrate is most of our damage. Um, it's going to be pretty nice and also our four set actually scales with the damage of the disintegrate So the more damage you can do with disintegrate the better All right, so hopefully that single target rotation helped out a lot and now I'm gonna get into the actual dragon rage um, Bloodlust rotation and this one's gonna be This one's gonna be a little bit weird to start off with but I'm gonna go ahead and explain it as I go so you're going to want to do bloodlust into dragon rage into your two empowered spells, okay? And then you're going to disintegrate twice immediately after. And then you're going to go into your building essence burst and spending them phase. Why you want to use your disintegrates immediately after is because no longer does causality care about spending essence burst, it only cares about disintegrate damage ticks. So you get two casts, which means you get like eight ticks off the rip that you wouldn't normally be getting before you would spend your before you would build your essence burst azure strike with azure strike so here's how that's gonna go you go lust dragon rage fire breath eternity surge disintegrate disintegrate and then build spend and i'm gonna use the fire breath here boom build all right, build, build, spend, spend. Using disintegrate as much as possible here. And then we go fire breath. Get that extension. Get this extension here, hit the eternity surge, boom, boom. And that's going to be all we get. And you can see that it lasted the entirety of lust. And that's going to be your dragon rage extension right there for your single target. And now I'm going to go ahead and go into the AoE. 
All right, so now I'm going to show you how the AoE rotation is going to go. So typically it's going to go something like this. You'll Shattering Star, and then after you Shattering Star, you're going to want to Eternity Surge, and then after the Eternity Surge, you're going to want to Instant Fire Breath. Uh, this is all, of course, after Dragon Rage. And then you will spam Pyres like there's no tomorrow. Now here's how great... I, I truthfully think this is awesome. So here's how this is going to go. You go Dragon Rage... Shattering Star, into Eternity Surge, one, two, three, into Instant Fire Breath, and then you get your Essence Bursts, and you just spam Pyres. You absolutely just spam so many Pyres. And then Pyre, Pyre, Eternity Surge is back up, we're gonna go ahead and use that. And then another Fire Breath, Pyre, Pyre, Shattering Star for the Instant Burst, for the Instant uh, Essence Burst, Pyre, Pyre, Eternity Surge, Fire Breath, and then Pyre, 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 just keep on Pyring, and it's it really is just a machine gun of Pyres, it is really cool. Um, so hopefully that gave you a good look into how to do your AoE rotation. Uh, by the way, at the, make sure when your targets are at like 25% HP you use your Deep Breath as we've been doing it's really not that much different than how we've been doing all along and that's that's pretty much just going to be your aoe rotation as well all right and now i'm going to go over the two and four set so the two set is disintegrate and pyre damage uh leaves behind a dot for 12 percent of the damage done over eight seconds pretty good uh pretty much just a 12 percent damage increase for our pyre and our uh disintegrate and then our four set is empower spells deal 8% more damage, pretty nice, and cause obsidian shards to blaze with power, dealing 200% more damage for five seconds. And during Dragon Rage, shards are always ablaze with power. So that's gonna be actually so fantastic for our, uh, for our rotation, because it means we don't just wanna spend our empower spells like, together we want to actually cast them like four to five seconds apart so that we get benefit from this and that's going to be our two and our four set they're pretty good honestly they feel pretty decent to play with they have a small bit of interaction with the empowered spells and i think that's always super nice to have with your tier sets all right and that's going to be pretty much everything y'all need to know about the talents about the rotation about the tier sets that's pretty much everything y'all need to know going into patch 10.1 so, hey, I mean, I'm definitely looking forward to it. I'm really excited to play with these changes that Blizzard has implemented. I hope y'all enjoy it, and I'll see you next time.